with the actual notification of UPSC. Everyone should at least have gone through once of the actual notification of UPSC. Uh, just to go through the recent notification, that is 2022, uh, so that you will get complete. Please download it, this one, always keep it in your because here only you can see the syllabus pattern for GS optional and uh, how uh, every syllabus is defined is completely given. And what is the criteria? Every criteria is given. So please keep this one in this. First thing uh, is the uh, syllabus, whatever the subject, uh, be it history or be it whatever the thing, first syllabus. Go through the syllabus, then only you will come to know whether it is difficult or not, not just based on the size, uh, rather than based on understanding, understanding of the subject, right. So, is this, if you see here, every optional paper, uh, subject consists of two papers, right. I think you knew the fundamentals, fundamentals of this. Morning is the paper one, paper one, afternoon is the paper two, paper two, the morning section is section, uh, paper 1 consists of two sections, section A and section B. Likewise, paper 2 also section A, section B. This is for every optional subject. In history optional, the section A is strictly ancient and section B is strictly medieval. Go on, go on, try it. Uh, if you don't, no need. Otherwise, the paper 1 uh, in this section A, section A consists of 4 questions, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Section B, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the pattern for every subject. In history optional, section A is exclusively what? Ancient. Section B is medieval. And in the paper 2, morning session, section A is modern India and section B is modern world history. So, question shall be asked only like this. In afternoon session, they will not ask medieval. In morning session, they will not ask modern uh, um, in world history. So, the topic is completely split. Accordingly, question will be asked. This is the first thing. Second thing is, what constitutes the paper 1? Here, history optional, paper 1 is there. From that, unit number 1. If you see that unit Unit number 1, 2, remaining plus 20 plus units, if you see, completely it is a paper 1, right, up to the medieval. So, in this, paper 1 consists of two sections, am I right? Section A and section B. Among that, they have simply given the paper 1 in this unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you just to go through prehistory, Indus Valley, Megalithic, Aryans, Mahajanapada, Mauryas, post Mauryas, in that only Sangha Mage, Indo Greeks, then the Guptans, Vakatagas, regional kingdoms like Cholas, right? So, up to this, first 12 units. First 12 units is the ancient part. So, in paper 1, first 12 is the ancient. And when we enter into 750, we enter into medieval part. From 12 to 24 is the medieval. Every topic is well known. There is nothing new. If I ask a question, yourself would answer. Estimate Akbar. You would write. You can't say I can't write any point. At least you would manage it. This is the paper 1. And come to paper 2. In the case of paper 2, the first set is the modern, modern Indian history. It start right from coming of European. In GS, Simply this topic alone is given. In optional, this is elaborated, that's all. Same syllabus, coming of Europeans, British expansion, early structure of British law, economy, these things alone will be discussed. Thus, if you attend GS itself, nearly 70-80% is over. Right, and we will discuss again for optional, another 8 to 10 classes exclusively for the modern for different aspect, just analytical aspect. I will ask you to bring GS class notes of modern and let us how you have to manage about Cornwallis, how you have to write about the laws. Just a discussion. Actually, I have to discuss only discussion only. But you don't know the basic information of you. That's why we are going for what? Discussion. 
basic and then discussion right from the european european penetration from this year nearly for up to post independence not only uh, the modern indian history even now in gs also you do have which part is the post independence part up to unit number 15 first unit number 15 is the modern india and right from 16 16 onwards which topic start modern world history start so section a modern india Set up to 15 unit, 16 to 24. Next is say 8 or uh, uh, yes, next to 27. Up to 27, 12 units is exclusively belong to the world history. So each part is divided into 12 units: ancient 12, medieval 12, modern 14. Because modern as well as post independence, and last is the modern world history. Every topic is known topic. what i am going to discuss here is how to make answer i am not going to discuss any new thing if i ask indus valley civilization is it new no if i said some of the philosopher karl marx is it new no but what you have to write the keyword let me give it this is what the structure thus what is the syllabus i informed now what is my method of uh, class how our class would go is here is section a uh, section b and here also section a and section b right here is the modern history on the modern world history and here is the ancient and the medieval first we will start sorry we will start with modern world history that's why if you see the syllabus uh, the time schedule world history so first to 10 days world history next also after the gap also world history right why i am discussing is one side we will discuss world history in optional other side for almost major batch batches we will uh, batches we will discuss modern indian history within 2 to 3 months we will complete which part uh, paper 1 paper 1 is completely over and once world history is over then i will jump to the ancient part because once ancient part is taken then i have to completely up to the modern indian history so this is my method for last 10 years this work things so first is the modern world history next is the ancient part next to medieval right by october by diwali for all the batch modern history will have been over in gs at last exclusively eight classes for analysis and then you come to know okay problems of uh, factual preparation is different and analytical preparation is different this things you would come to uh, know this is my method that's what i have given uh, in this right and next what kind of material you have to study normally we will, i will give class notes complete class notes will be given of each topic apart from that i will discuss lot of information you can't write everything for that at least refer one textbook you no need to study line by line of the textbook what is the purpose of the textbook mean how they have given in a way of presentation once you know the way of presentation then no need to study the textbook just you know i know sir i don't want to know because i know how to manage answer i have the keywords i will manage it discard the textbook so textbook wise no need to study line by line or cover to cover in this sense alone because books will be little bit big if you consider sir every page has to be studied no need you bring it let me tell what subject topic i touch that alone you go through yes next open in the case of world history what is up to 1900 i will give class notes because there is no one book the material will be distributed okay keep your fees receipt do you know have you got gs material uh, you have to go to that uh, ground first floor here and from that you collect right so first you first you have to do uh, this things right you will get the material right in this up to 1900 so no need to buy purchase any book because this is diversified source but from 1900 onwards you have to buy one book norman lo world history by norman lo why why not even you have to buy for gs also this book 
even GA student would study this book. It's an excellent book for understanding the after 19. It is very good for helping the uh, international organization. It's very much helping so for understanding of the uh, IO and bilateral related issues. So thus, you have this book you purchase, little bit book, but let me tell how. And come to ancient. Ancient wise, have you purchased 11th NCRT book, history book? Uh, what you should have 11th NCRT ancient you should have. Here 11th NCRT medieval you should have. And here is the 12th NCRT modern history. I think all would have purchased by the time. Keep this in mind, excellent book. Even for optional also, these are all the basics. Right, so here this is what the things. Apart from that, one textbook, let me tell for that. For ancient, as of now, even GS prelims questions are being asked from the book. Which book is Upinder Singh? The ancient history by Upinder Singh, purchase it. If you study there, six question, last four to five year, even prelims also they have asked only from this book. It's an excellent book. When I was the student, there was no such a book. I studied from different sources. Now, Delhi University professor, Professor Upinder Singh, uh, she is none other than the daughter of uh, former Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh. Daughter is uh, uh, Dr. Upinder Singh. Uh, that madam wrote the book, the professor of Delhi University. Right. So, Upinder Singh book, purchase it. And come to medieval. Medieval wise, I let me give one material. So, you will get second material from academy. One material. That I will give after one and a half months. Again, you have the fees receipt. Always keep the fees receipt. Go to the first floor and collect it. Right? And apart from that, one textbook is uh, JL Metha. JL Metha Volume 1. It consists of three volumes just to purchase. Very, very small book. You purchase. Let me tell. How do you have to answer? Study. Modern wise, do you have Spectrum book? Already by that time, you should have purchased. For GS itself, even on Monday, next Monday, I will ask you to buy the uh, Spectrum book. So, already you have 12th the NCRD book. Along with that, you purchase Spectrum. Spectrum, Modern India. Anyhow, all the people from Kashmir to Kanyagumari, for GS itself, must purchase Spectrum. So, Modern India wise, don't purchase any new book for optional. Don't purchase. And ancient medieval wise, modern wise, already NCRT you purchased it. You study. First, you have to study GS wise. Then bring the textbook to me. Uh, I will let me tell what topic and how to study. Okay. No need to study line because normally I will give class notes. But uh, I would not simply say that you should confine to our class. When you have to confine to my class notes is last minute exam. First, complete class notes. Once study in the textbook, just to get idea. Then add it. No need of books, then just to confine. Because UPSC always like a student to go through at least a textbook. At least one textbook, then only how the students. For example, if you just copy paste from some notes, mean very easy to find it out. You would not have continuity. This is what you have to do it. So, already 50 percentage of the book you have purchased, uh, NCRT, so and so, Spectrum you purchased. Just one reference would keep it. You don't study by yourself. If you, when you start to study by yourself, then you start vomiting. This is the biggest issue in case of history. Because in the case of history, you can easily read. But at the same time, what to study is the matter. How the question will be asked is the matter. How you have to present your answer for that here class. Right? Nothing new. If I said Sardar Vallabhai Patel, any need of any introduction? No. If I said Maulana Abul Kalam Asad, need of any introduction? No. What's the thing? How you have to manage the answer? This, how keywords shall be there? This I will elaborate. So, what is the timetable I have given? How I will take the class given? What text material? And institute material will be there, I have given in this. 
right and uh, this is a structure of that we will uh, strictly follow this thing so that you also packed till november months whether next week or next after week there will be a class or no you no need to follow strictly follow this uh, things you will get complete if you want let us have extra classes after diwali and so on so let us have one more week but till that i have to do this because 15 days i shall be there another 15 days i have shall be here so i must to scrupulously follow uh, this things so that by december end that's all optional is over jan onwards completely prepare for cs and gs and csat next to 5 months over right and the class timing i already mentioned 5:30 exactly because maximum class 8 o'clock to 11 and 11 to 1:30 then what is the thing go and take rest lunch little take rest right by 4 o'clock if you study study the gs part in class notes 4 to 5 and 5 o'clock onwards come here 5:30 to 8 then go back have dinner 10 right 9:30 to 10 o'clock or 10:30 study the optional class notes no need to study the book study the optional book during weekend otherwise the 15 days gap is there in that you study because after at the time 5:30 to 8 free for you correct at the time you study and you will get plenty of idea easily you can write the answer and everyone shall write the test okay so then only you come to know how preparation so and so uh, so and so uh, this is the method of preparation i would like to can kind of be normally i would like to keep weekdays class our classes demo is weekdays but let me start the class right this week alone three or four classes will be there next week onwards strictly four or five classes uh, 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 will be there right this is a method Uh, here i would like to thanks any other apart from this because time schedule alone people would get complete preparation everything is given in advance what is the test first test first test is world history am i right because first to 10 days i will discuss world history second will be partially world history and partially ancient third will be ancient and medieval fourth will be medieval and fifth will be modern or medieval if we want let us have sixth test only for modern because at that time december man at least five to six batches first to six batches i would have completed gs part the modern i will complete it then let's have it so class schedule alone it little bit class that's why i i avoided uh, this thing ah uh, if you have sadish chandra you no need to purchase jl mehta you discard you discard it because both sadish chandra as well as jl mehta more or less one then you no need to but no need to purchase jl mehta then india struggle for independent pan chandra it is little bit lengthy and it, the informations are there only after 1857 but we have to study from 1498 vasco da gama uh, that's why now spectrum completely cover that part that's a year once upon a time student used to study india struggle for independent i will give in class every class gs class 13 or 14 class from bipan chandra and optional class another eight class i will give inch by inch from bipan chandra only so you no need to refer we will whatever i taught is that from that class uh, in this material but I, i for that i would not ask no need to study the books at least how uh, the method of answer writing how the paragraph is once you know then no need so as of now don't study india struggle for independence keep it so upinder singh as of now upinder singh is the only source it's a major source excellent way it's given full of color the book is very uh, things little bulky but why the thing full of color picture ara sharma is only the content matter no picture nothing is there they have given stone age paleolithic mesolithic what is the stone different stage uh, size between paleolithic mesolithic ara sharma is absent but upender singh mentioned here a complete picture 
That's why the book is little bit bulky. Nearly 50% is picture, complete pictureization. And uh, Norman Law is little demand. So you on Norman Law and Upinder Singh immediately you purchase, put order or purchase in bookmark and high demands uh, uh, are there because of restriction so and so is there. It's a one is international version. So purchase these two items. JL Mehta is available, highly available. Sadish Chandra is highly available. Spectrum book, anyhow you have to purchase for GS. Okay, but start after as per the class, not only my subject. If a GS, GS subject is started, bilateral is started, mean when the star started a bilateral, accordingly you follow. Okay, don't be your own preparation. Your own preparation is good, but sometimes it forced to vomiting. When you don't like the subject, forced to vomiting. Better to purchase uh, new NCAT, that is uh, part 1, part 2, part 3 is there, themes it, because old NCAT, let me tell the answer, how it is there in that, because nowadays, some optional questions are straight away, they are asking from the new NCAT, new NCAT, but new NCAT's problem is, it is not given chronologically, that is the biggest issue, for example, first page itself, they discuss Ashoka, in ancient, but what is the first unit in ancient priest? Sixth unit is Ashoka, but the first unit itself they discussed Ashoka. Second and subsequent unit they will discuss priest. Right? So this is the uh, issue. But purchase the new one. Uh, last year, till last year I asked the student to purchase one old, but nowadays they are gradually changing to the new version accordingly it has changed so part one part two part three small small book colorful book very interesting to study but don't study till class are being taken started because no chronologically and uh, here in delhi wise strictly it's offline right there is no online here both online as well as offline uh, are available world history is a very shallow part actually ancient medieval alone you have to go by detail Indian history, world history is very shallow. Uh, that's why in the case of world history, they have given the syllabus very uh, uh, gracefully and very. For example, uh, if you take Latin America, Latin America means 13 countries are there, South America and 7 to 8 more countries in Central America. Whether you have to study inch by inch of Latin America, no. In Latin America, you have to study a single person. Who was a single person? Bolivar. That's all. And if you see Arab world, Arab world is a complete Western world, uh, Western East Asia world, Egypt, so and so. Whether you have to study everything? No. In this only which country? Egypt. World history seems to be big. But here, don't say world history. It is ancient world history syllabus? No. Medieval world history syllabus? No. Only which part? Modern world history alone is there. Even modern world history, the syllabus is very limited near the modern world history. What topic you have to study is from 1700 to 1991. There is no need to study Alexander's invasion. No need to study Greek civilization. No need to study the rise of Ottoman Turks. That is not, that is not in our syllabus. What is the syllabus is from 1700. What is the 1700 syllabus here is the first thing is age of enlightenment. This is what here start. Age of enlightenment, industrial revolution, American revolution, French revolution, that's all. That's why world history is the shallowest topic. But ancient medieval is little, little you have to because it's in India. Am I right? What is the thing is? World history is you have to study like this, Asia, Europe, everything you have to study. But Indian history is the geography is one and the same. It's a very interesting. Am I right? In this only you have to study ancient, in this only you have to study medieval, in this only you have to study modern. With this once asked a question, essay question. What is the question is history change, but geography does not. Yes or no? History change, but not what? Geography. 
If geography changed, we will know more. It's a tsunami, so on, so on, or a complete earthquake comes, we will be. What is the geography is India. In this only Delhi, by 1000 AD, Mahmud Afghanistan. By 1300, Alauddin Gilji. By 1600, Mughals. City is geography, but politics change. Right, that's why that's why I start first with world history. Right. One said modern India in GS, other said world history in optional with two months paper to is over. Whenever I am here in Chennai, back to back class will be there, modern India, GS as well as after evening world history. So that you have to concentrate on these things and then test. 10 days rest test write the test you are correct evaluated at least one test each test at least three mistakes or four mistakes are rectified more than enough five or six tests 25 mistakes will be am i right what you are writing in classroom is the test what upsc conducting is exam test is different which is different Exam is different. Keep this in. Many student does not know the basic difference. You can commit mistake in test. You should not commit mistake in exam. This is what some student would not write test. Right? I will look after UPSC. You know what would happen? You will commit all the 25 mistake in UPSC. In cricket, 5 day cricket, what one? Test. Why it is called test cricket? Practice. There is no ball restriction, am I right? There is no five days, no restriction. You can even 100 ball, different stroke, you put it. That's why it's called test match. Rather than your own bowler, practice wise, your own bowler would bowl it. Test match, opposite country's bowler would bowl it. So, commit mistake here and commit mistake in classroom, that's why. Don't commit mistake in exam. Because that's why this time, because last time when I kept the test, no one would come to write. Why, sir, we don't have time. Just they said. This time no one can say you don't have time. Okay, once the first schedule is over, 10 days after that only first test is being conducted. That's why Scrupulously, let us try to follow this. Thus, November, you are also packed. Don't can't don't go and attend the cousin's marriage. Am I right? Even even were marriage, don't go and attend. <laughs> or if you keep your one marriage, postpone accordingly plan according to our word uh, syllabus. Because you people are here after normal people. Do you know higher officials always would have six months, seven months, next what do they have? Time schedule. If you don't have time schedule, then only always would drift. Right. So this is what related uh, to this of uh, this. Right. So please study because here is less. If you come to Delhi at that time in your road, you just to go out this Chanti colony, at that time you can see 10,000 students. At a time, even at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, minimum 1000 students can be a study hall, write this likewise. Even classes will be conducted, some institute up to 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Nothing, what is there? Very free society, they just to study, they grasp it. Here only our academy, whenever class is over, little traffic. Apart from that, nothing. Here is 100 times crowd is there in Delhi. Okay, little what? Here the 5.30 class. There it's a 8 o'clock. Morning 8 to 10.30 there class. Ready to come. Yes. This is what? The things? Any other doubts? Hmm. In tested, once test is over, after 2 to 3 days when I discussing classes, in that itself first test will be, discussion will be held. Immediately it will be held. So that no need to uh, bother about it. 
i will discuss and i will write the uh, hints also in your test paper what kind of things so test discussion will be there question paper discussion these things are assured so what is the topic first world history then ancient then medieval and last what one modern thing and in gs wise i will take right the modern indian history and post independence nearly modern industry 14 plus class post independence 6 plus class in gs that's why it's sold outsiders after the class you made it i will link you to one or two another another gs classes so that you can simultaneously study that part also right uh, this is what the structure and this is what the syllabus i would like to convey As I told, every section consists of how many questions? And every section four. I am right this side four and that side four. This is the paper two. Yes, in paper, in paper two, what is the first section? Modern Indian history. What is the second section? World, modern world history. That is why in this, so section A, one, two, three, four is the modern India. Section B, 5, 6, 7, 8 is the modern world history. In that, the first question and fifth question, here itself, each question consists of 50 mark. Each question consists, but if you see the first question, that itself is divided into 5, 10 mark question. And the fifth question is also divided into 5, 10 mark question. Got it? So, each question consists of 50 mark. It does not mean the single question constitutes 50 mark. So, first and fifth question each 5 mark. And come to second question A, B, C. For example, second question consists of 50 marks. Mean how they would mark A question 20 mark, B question 15 mark, C question how many mark? 15 mark. All together how many marks? 50. This is the structure will be there. So, you no need to study in depth. You just touch the topic and have an idea. Write the one page of the topic and you can easily manage it for two and or three pages in exam. Let me show one thing, one question. Hmm. Go through. This is a first question. Critically examine the following statement in about how many words? So, 10 marks means only how many words? 150 words. Not down. This will be helpful for writing test. 150 words mean you can maximum 175 words it is allowed. Not necessarily to be 150 up to 175 words. Got it? You write, uh, read the first question and second. This is anglo Sikh war related to Raja Ranjit Singh. After the death of Raja Ranjit Singh, British entered into the anglo Sikh war annexed it after two anglo Sikh war. Why British annexed mean? Because of which policy? Northwest frontier policy. What is Northwest? Simple. Keyword. What is the keyword after the exit of which person? Ranjit Singh. And another thing is broad what policy? And last because of this British annexed what? Punjab. This alone. Whether I answered the keywords or how some people would get more scores in me answer mean they will put this as, as a subgetting. First thing is exit of Raja Ranjit Singh. Maharaja Ranjit Singh ruled 1800 to 1839. His sudden end in 1839, end of the Punjab and weak successor, British used as an opportunity, started to annex. Over, exit. Then what happened? Annexation. Annexation of Punjab. How did British annex? By means of first Sikh war, by means of second Anglo Sikh war during Dal Ossi period. So, British annexed. That's all. And third, why annexed mean it is a part of which policy? Broad. So, next, why? Why annexed? Punjab is fertile land. Punjab is the gateway of North West. So, North West frontier policy is important. Why North West is important? For that, geography, here he is the Punjab. Right, above the Punjab, here Afghanistan, here is Russian Empire. Tsarist, do you know Tsarist? Tsarist to stop the Tsarist. One thing. 
here is the shah shah of persia is there to avoid the shah of persia northwest and here is the egypt the french were rising to avoid which fear french fear this alone upsc want very general answer history wise that's why enterga especially south in this sense you can easily match we only making it very tough by studying this or that already you have we have historical sense yes firstly ancient medieval modern we do have lot of historical sense in this right that's all what else you want automatically how many words should come 150 to 175 words without knowing that studying so many book uh, things useless but i can easily tell but you can't easily understand and write for that once study in the book then once you have an idea leave the book this is what so study the question underline the keyword make it as a subheading answer it oh, this is what you can do it okay, let's start to a telegram group for exclusively or optional in that i will publish the toppers our academy only 2018 he is the history optional topper um out of 500 he have got 370 300 crossing is nothing in this nearly 3 or 4 student here itself crossed 300 okay so that doesn't matter of this uh, let me upload some of the toppers answer you will get some other what kind of important in the telegram you will get all kind of the thing time schedule is given any other important let me give it in that telegram group okay so this is exclusively for optional people history optional people this is a method here if you see the first if you see the first question uh, consists of a b c d and last one is what e the first the ret retention of rowlett act legislation in the teeth of the universal opposition as an affront to the nation so you should know what is rowlett act against the rowlett act what happened is opposition i am ready what is the opposition is rowlett satyagraha during the rowlett satyagraha only jallianwala bag massacre what tells you want you know information what is the biggest issue among our student northern advice free flow whether right or wrong they would tell they would write down our people is they hesitate to answer say if i write whether it is right or wrong who are you to evaluate your own answer keep it in mind your duty is not to evaluate your answer your duty is only to write the answer to tell the opinion fearlessly tell your opinion fearlessly because this is a free society okay write your opinion and answer fearlessly even god oppose am right even third i open yes sir no even third i open we be stand no need to keep it in mind even for god respect no need to fear any people some people would say am right who would fear committed mistake then only you have to fear respect is different what is different ah bhakti is different no need of baya baya bhakti no need only which is enough bhakti is enough if you committed crime then only you have to be fear before god so keep this in mind likewise you approach prelims mains and personality test and you will easily get so hereafter answer open your mouth liberally give your opinion boldly even god oppose write your answer even i oppose right change it gradually change it but don't hesitate to give your opinion here this is the biggest issue in fact if some have family itself some adhika present talking over in that childhood itself some parents dumped it give it this is entirely different if you come to there they will ask always ask question even silly question they will ask it and if i ask some question here 200 people are there in class means no one there is all would answer 
start the do answer okay so create like this then answer writing is nothing answer writing should not come overnight or simply writing one test in class notes it should be developed by means of how, how you practice how your daily activities right so this is a uh, one one next is the two if you come to the two first question alone a b c d but the second question a b and what c that's all first question is the 20 mark second question is the 20 mark then third question they went for what 10 so keep it in mind 50 marks yeah they will split at any way this is the way question uh, will be asked now i come to world history this is modern indian history up to four is the section a section b is world history if you see the world history france if you see that controversial so and so estate generals julia revolution 1830 continental blackguard was misconceived idea of economic defeat of the britain this is the napoleon Bonaparte continental system blackguard so question will be like this very generalized thing but what is the beauty of paper one is now let me show the paper one in this paper two what is the first is the examination but if you come to paper one is map so near the ancient india you write it what is the first question is the map 50 mark map you can get everything in upsc uh, paper uh, upsc website itself right this is the paper one in this paper first is the map so keep it in mind they will give a marked they will mark it carefully listen 20 this is one of the greatest advantage of industry right you no need to write description first paper first question is what map 50 mark for example you take near chennai they marked one am i right and if you come here they have given hint point what is a hint point in the paper uh, is what site paleolithic then you have to find the place which is the place near chennai near pallavaram pallavaram is the paleolithic site otherwise atirambakkam have you come across palayathamma coil on the way there is a site called atirambakkam if you answer anyone that's all and you have to write if you mention Pallavaram or Atirambakam, one mark. Keep it in mind, how many marks is 50 marks, right? How many places are given? 20, 20 places. Carefully listen, 50 marks. How many places are given? 20 marks mean for each correct answer, how many marks? 2.5 marks. This is one of the greatest advantage. How 2.5 marks will be divided mean if you find the place 1 marks or 1.5 marks. I don't know in this how exactly. And uh, you have written Pallavaram means in that Pallavaram you have to write uh, 15 words to 20 words explanation. How you have to write after writing Pallavaram? 1 Pallavaram. First point located near Chennai. That's all. Second here hand axe because paleolithic site hand axe uh, some uh, cleaver hand axe tools are there it is located in hilltop that's all if you write another one mark out of 2.5 mark how many mark you will get two marks is it possible in a 10 mark question out of 10 mark is it possible to get 9.5 mark question no map is one of the greatest advantage even in geography they reduce the map but history wise still they preserve 50 marks only thing ancient places where nothing upinder singh has every nearly 20 map places are there played each map places nearly 10 to 15 points are there you have to work ancient wise i will concentrate on what map because nothing to study ancient except Buddhism, Jainism, Indus Valley, Vedic age. 
ancient wise description is very less so your your mind will be diversified to study map also this is one of the biggest advantage do you know map wise 35 minutes you can easily complete it which place hint right place hint right and no need to write it's like a descriptive just an idea that's my point right so this is what here about the map uh, reading wise this is a first question but uh, second question wise is very easy you just to go through what is the second question ancient medieval history wise no question is new yeah what is the question do you agree ecological factor influence the flow and ebb of the harappan civilization mean decline of harappan civilization what are all the different causes do you agree upanishad principle embody the high point of vedic religion yes analyze the significance and indigenous development of post mauryan art do you know gandhara school mathura school amaravati this is what 15 mark question you can write at least 45 percentage of mark in this but my intention is 40 15 45% means nearly 6 marks my intention is to get 8.5 marks 9 marks so syllabus is not new question you can't say i don't couldn't understand the question answer you can write something in that it is not technical things you no need of the things then only i can study from the no need to study from beginning in the case of history this is what right a kautilya every question you know and do you consider sultan iltutmish to be the real founder of delhi what is the sultanate period then different categories of persian literature during delhi sultanate babar success again ibrahim lodi in the first battle pani bad why did babar get victory against ibrahim lodi in first pani bad so question is not new syllabus is not new studying but still history wise many fear because you know many thinking history is tough yes when you will consider a topic is tough means when you study well of the topic then only you consider the negative so i'm right when you don't know a subject you will always consider the topic is what easy this is the mentality for example if the student is a mechanical engineer graduate mean would you take mechanical engineering you will think 100 times why it is tough why you four years you studied with what one mechanical it does not mean that it is tough you know negatives keep it in mind if you knew a subject negatives very easy to convert into word positive if you don't know anything about the subject first you have to understand word negative first word then you have to make the negative into word positive that's why for example if i ask tell me about me sir you are very good person not more than one hour met tell me about your sister that girl avala always would torture me sir because you are with your sister for 20 plus years daily you are interacting with your sister not only the best thing you also know the negatives when you come to know negative of the subject when you interact with the subject study a subject very well normally this is the biggest issue for the beginners if many consider that a subject is easy how the subject is easy means some of the syllabus is small how do you know subject is easy whether you studied the subject no no but i feel subject is easy how they can't answer this is what in the case of our optional subject when let us go through these things let me tell in dates wise year wise leave it to me i will give few dates and year in class notes that alone you study apart from that in book don't study any other thing in st- book you study story for example if you study a story or mahabharata ramayana so many character is coming are coming would you remember all the character but you do know the story 
this is the method i will give attend i will give some years but among the some year i will ask you to underline few year that year you have to reproduce so year wise fact wise don't concentrate in book confined to our class notes so listen out of eight question listen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 how would you choose is uh, important keep it in mind 1 5 compulsory you can't make it as a choice so 1 and 5 how many question out of 5 how many question you must answer 5 among the 5 two questions are what compulsory remaining how many question 3 how the upsc says mean at least from one part you have to choose one question at least from one part means you can choose among the three either one for example i choose this one so i go. next at least from here you have to choose what one so i choose remaining how many question one but how many questions are left if three two is there four is there six is there what is there seven among that it is enough to answer So always keep one and five compulsory. No other go. Fifty marks. If you missed it, you are losing score. Among the remaining things, any one is compulsory. One one question. Any of the choice. For example, no sir, I don't like three. I like two. Do it. I I like this one. Not eight. Means four question. Among that three and four, six and eight. Any one is enough. This is the method of answer. Right. Right. Thank you.